Right. So if you have read and understood, considering a surgical anatomy station, kindly please tell me what are you looking at? What are these arrows pointing at? What is this one? Uh, that is the sympathetic trunk, right? Okay. Sympathetic trunk. Can you please tell me the course of sympathetic trunk, please? Yes, uh, sympathetic trunk. It starts from the base of the skull to the uh, first uh, to the C1, C1 vertebra. Okay. And what is this tree you are looking at? It's the branches of the splanchnic nerves. Okay. Uh, what do they innervate? They innervate the mainly the uh, intestine and bowels. Okay. Can you please identify number one here, arrows pointing at? That is Aegis vein. Yes, can you kindly tell me the origin and its pathway, course? Yes, as I explained, it is formed uh, by the union of the right subcostal vein and the right ascending uh, lumbar vein. And then it uh, pierces the right cross of the diaphragm and then ascends on the uh, right side of the vertebral column. And uh, it gives off uh, tributaries like uh, right uh, lower posterior intercostal. And on the at the level of G8, it is joined by the uh, hemiazygous uh, vein. And at the level of G7, it is joined by the accessory hemiazygous vein. And it also gives off uh, tributaries and like the right superior intercostal veins, pericardial, uh, mediastinal, uh, bronchial, and then esophageal uh, tributaries. And then it drains into the uh, superior vena cava, arching uh, on the uh, right hilum of, hilum of right lung. And the ascending lumbar veins with the right subcostal vein, they drain. They go all the way in the posterior mediastinum and then drain into superior vena cava. Okay. Can you please tell me if you can, if you are looking at this, uh, my arrow, uh, all this, and all this, what is this part called of the thorax as a whole? It's the thoracic cavity. Thoracic cavity, but it's called mediastinum. Uh, mediastinum. How, how would you divide mediastinum? Yes, uh, mediastinum, we, we can divide into three parts, anterior, middle, and posterior mediastinum. Yes. Can you please tell me the boundary of the posterior mediastinum? Yes, uh, it is bounded uh, anteriorly by the uh, fibrous pericardium above and below by the sloping downward part of the diaphragm, posteriorly by the lower eight uh, thoracic vertebra, and laterally by the uh, uh, laterally by the um, Laterally by the mediastinal, laterally by the uh, mediastinal. Laterally, from where you got lateral, side. it's anterior, it's side, posterior, it's roof, and then floor. Floor is by the diaphragm. Roof is the imaginary line extending between the sternal angle and the T4 vertebrae, and the anterior and the posterior. Okay, then what are the contents of the inside? Okay, can you please tell me the contents of the posterior mediastinum? Yes, we have the contents are the descending thoracic outer, closed duct, uh, the posterior mediastinal limb nodes, the esophagus, esophageal plexus, the azygous and the hemiazygous veins, and the uh, posterior intercostal artery and the and some posterior intercostal veins. Yes. Okay, can you please identify the structures here? From 1 to 11, from A and B as well. Okay, what is 1? If quickly we can identify the structures. 1 is the right uh, principal bronchus. Yes, and um, if you can tell me two. what 9 is. Uh, 9 is the diaphragm. Okay, 11. Uh, 11 is the sternum. Okay, can you please tell Body me uh, what is uh, what do you understand by the thoracic outlet syndrome? Uh, thoracic outlet syndrome it's a condition uh, uh, that uh, that results because of the compression of a neurovascular bundle uh, when it passes from the base of the neck uh, to the axilla. 
usually okay. due to compression between the excellence anterior and medial muscle. Can you please tell me if a patient needs to be in, have a chest tube inserted, why would the patient present with bradycardia? Uh, usually because of the irritation of the vagus nerve. Very good. Okay, I think there is one more. Yes, if you can please identify these structures, I maybe I might have asked you before as well. Um, what is A? If you can identify these structures, what is this? What has been lifted to show you something? What is uh, this, this? is the what is uh, sympathetic trunk, right yes. sympathetic trunk. And A, please. And A is the spinal uh, intercostal nerve. Okay. C, thing you're looking at. Can't see properly, man. Yes. Okay. Uh, any other things that you see? Can I think it's the E or D. Actually, I took the pic image from here. It is book, so it's not that clear. That's why. Uh, e looks like the right principal bronchus. Yes, and uh, else you can recognize. D, D looks like the superior vena cava. F. You did tell oh, me like superior a... vena cava, tributaries, and everything, right? That has been covered. Yes, uh, right. What else I can ask you? Okay, you told me about the posterior medicine and medicine in my last year. Basically, we had to cover medicine in today. Heart, ma'am. Heart as well. Heart is separate. Okay. Ma'am, what is B actually? B is the sympathetic trunk, I think. So there, are two, there, are, there are two Bs, no, ma'am? Uh, yes. There are two Bs. There are two Bs. What, uh, what, one is this and the other one is this. How is it different? Is it the same thing or is it different? The B that run, uh, runs uh, vertical is the sympathetic trunk. The one okay. that runs horizontal is the... Uh, if it is uh, vein and it should be nerve, intercostal nerve. We'll find out. Like the arrangement no. is VAN. So I'm your phone. I'll show you. I'll give you the answer. You see the phrenic nerve, ma'am? Right phrenic nerve. Okay. A is right intercostal artery and vein, both here. B is uh, right sympathetic chain. That's why I asked you B again, it's right sympathetic chain. It's uh, either magnified too much or I have placed, copied and pasted it. So it has become mm -hmm. enlarged something. So it's sympathetic, B is sympathetic chain. Whereas C is right phrenic, this right phrenic nerve. And D is superior vena cava. D is superior vena cava. And E is right principal bronchus. So it's behind the medicine you're looking at. Behind the, yeah, behind it. So D, E is right principal bronchus. F is right pulmonary vein. And G is pericardial sac. So this is pericardial sac, which has been lifted. And I'm asking you, the structures in the posterior medicine. Okay, ma'am. And I did ask you about the two two wings where they drain each. I've asked you everything in this one, so it's the development. Yeah. Well, thank you.
Thank you, man.